This is the first citywide elections in Hong Kong after six months of protests and violence, and is a precious moment of clarity for Hong Kong. Regardless of differences, affairs of the city cannot be resolved on the streets. These district councillors are not legislators, but only constitute a lower branch of the Hong Kong SR government. Since the councils form following a democratic process, the results also impact the election of the chief executive and the policies that run Hong Kong. But this year, the elections are widely seen as a barometer of public opinions amid month-long violence, attracting a huge voter turnout. Most people are focused on how many seats will be won by whom. Will the newly elected support the establishment or oppose it? I think the results may not be that important. The key is reaching out to the other side, knowing what concessions need to be made and how to work for the greater good of Hong Kong. It was not easy six months ago, and it's even more difficult now. Let us hope these representatives have the will and the wisdom to get things done. For the opposition, I think it is great to have different voices. The key is what you oppose. It makes no sense to disagree for the sake of disagreeing. If the opposition's agenda is nothing more than an attempt to bring down the house, it is not an agenda that Hong Kong needs, and not an agenda that the country would tolerate. But the district council elections are still a good chance for Hong Kong. No matter what results come out of the polls, it is a time for Hong Kong to pause, think, and choose. What does Hong Kong really need after half a year of chaos and unrest? What kind of political balance should there be? And how will Hong Kong treat its relationship with the rest of China? There are too much shouting, shaming, and shooting going on. It is time to reflect and reset.